Hello, and welcome. So this is a bit of a project I've been working on for well over a year, and it's finally done. But there, it's still in progress. I haven't finished it yet. I'm hoping to get it done tonight. So this is my full-scale USS Legacy NCC-1187. So let's start the tour. Obviously, this is the shuttle wing with enough space for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, twenty-eight turtles with the access for these top turtles. Okay, just pretend they're there. I just, I have no way to put actual shuttles in yet. This door is the only way to access these. Obviously, this door is the only way to access these ones, and then. This control room is only accessible from up here. Okay, so the decks, we're currently on deck 17. Decks 15, 16, and 17 are laid out more or less the same. We got our cargo, cargo bays, our six, a refresher on each deck, the cruise, sonic shower for the Crews, and then the engineering quarters all along this, these corridors. But you're not here for the crew quarters, you're probably here for what I did in the engineering. So, here we are. So, yes, this is the main engineering. And uh, here's the warp bar. Originally, it was lava, but I got the idea to use uh, beacons instead. Only one of the beacons is actually active, the other ones are just for decoration. And then obviously the computers are from the computers add-on that they put into Bedrock earlier this year. And then their engineering consoles and all the theories. And then this next room is the Petro Dish control room. This is where they keep track of the uh, Power for the deflector dish. Make sure it's going to go under. And then we head back out. For record, for reference's sake, there are doors on the other two sides of the engineering as well. Leading up to those decks. But now we're going to go down this way. We're in turbo number four, and next 17. Uh, don't know which one's which. Okay. okay. So decks 18 through 21 are mostly the same. These are the Jeffries tubes. This is where all the uh, basically the fuses of the ships are. And I don't remember what this is supposed to be. I do not remember where this is. Never mind. I forgot I put that in there. Okay. <laughs> Um, yes, uh, over this way. This turbo lift goes down to decks 19, 20, and 21. They're all Jeffrey tubes just like this one. Yeah, they are all Jeffrey's tubes just like this deck, so there's no point in going down there. But over here, we have another turbo lift, and we also have air airlocks. Just Come in here, shut the door, open this, and boom, airlock. There's one on the other side as well, but we're going to go into this turbo real quick. Because, yes. Like I already said, the other two decks 
16 and 15 are like or, or laid out similarly to the engine to the uh, other engineering decks. Yeah. Anyways, these are the fusion reactors for the starter for the starter section. And then this turbo lift goes up to the rest of the ship. This one over here is an airlock on this side as well, and over there as well. But we're not over with all this airlock. We're not going to worry about this airbox right now. What we're going to do. Just go through here. Hmm. Probably should put more space there. These are the engineering holodecks. Their intended purpose is. Also, I had to put all these lights on on the floors in here because it was really dark otherwise. And holodecks are not known for being dark. Haha. <laughs> I kid. The engineering holodecks are specifically meant for engineering purposes only. They're not meant for recreational things. For those of you who don't know what recreational means, it means fun stuff. Uh, deck 12 is a similar idea to the Jeffries tubes. These are the deflector relays. They exist for the purpose of so if something happens to the shield grid, just come in here, do some quick run around, and do some fixing. Deck 11 has a variety of rooms. Auxiliary control rooms. So this is the auxiliary deflector control. Let's come in here, you know, fix the shield grid and such. Auxiliary helm control for if any reason the helm is unresponsive. Just come in here and get it working again. I'll come to those, those ones later, actually. And then obviously these are just extra hallways because I couldn't think of anything to put in there. Uh, auxiliary communications. This is for, you know, emergencies. We have the emergency bunker. This is a kind of a hiding place where the crew can hang out in if there's an emergency and they have to hide out somewhere. Auxiliary navigation room, which self-explanatory. Auxiliary phaser control. Same purpose as the effector room. This is the and finally the emergency command bridge. This is intended so that if something happens to the main bridge, you can quickly just run in here, man stations, and still be able to be able to fire the ship and such. Obviously, it's not intended to be consistently used. And now, here we are in the, in the torpedo bay. There's really. You can't build a Star Trek ship and not have torpedoes. Fully functional torpedo base. <laughs> Fire charges work really well for them. Also, these strips of the floor are meant to be loading docks for when the torpedoes into the launch bay. Anyways. And I put one in the back because, unlike some people, I prefer to not get blasted horribly from behind. Uh, this room is the probe launch bay. Just click a button and whoosh. And then down this way. We have the life support system access. And yes, there's a beacon in here as well. I actually had to put this light, there's a sea, sea lantern here, because otherwise it just put a pillar of light straight to the sky. Which I really do not need in the world right now. Deck 13. 
Now we're on deck 7. And uh, you guys can tell that this is a pretty big deck. I also think the cells are about to build. So, I'm not gonna bother showing everything on these big decks because we'd probably be here for like an hour if I did that. Long story short, we got the saucers, fusion reactors, security systems, the brigs, prisoners, stuff, that sort of thing. All on this deck. That's what this deck is for. And also includes security crew quarters, but we're not going to deal with that. Either. They did release an add-on for security cameras and such, which I might install later. And then here's a phaser range for you weird gun nuts. Like me. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're not going to bother with that right now. Let's see, this is deck 7 security. I believe it's this one. Actually, before I do that... Let's go on to deck 8. This is the medical section. Where they have the medical reporters, and then we have... These are showers. Just pointing that out now. And then... Come back inside. Press the button. Deck 9 is the recovery ward. Which includes physical rehab, the actual recovery board, mental therapy, and the waiting room. Yep. That wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> and that was good. Yeah. The triple lift. And then deck 10 is where the general will be of sick, 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 sick bay is. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Uh, this is the surgery room. I did not realize there were computers in here. That's my only offer. And here we have the sick, the sick bay wards. There are two, the other ones over there. Down here is the Chief Medical Officer's Quarters. We're not going to bother with that. Oh yeah, I already showed that though. Hey, anyway. This is something of my own creation, the DNA Repair Chamber. Where you, if, it's, if a patient is like missing a limb or something, you just put him in the bed, close the door, and activate the empty room here. And the Chief Medical Office, which is fairly selfish to me, Although, you can see the registry number from here as well. Okay, now we're moving on to the next deck. Deck section is the true quarters, which includes. Yeah, all the crew quarters, which are in massive big sections. But also includes the, um... Oh, it also includes passenger quarters, for one thing. Also includes, I believe that's the impulse control room down there. Officers' lounges on the... Down that way and that way. And then the mess hall all the way down there. Oops. And then, transporter room, obviously. Fully functional because I am just that much of a nut. And then I believe it's this region. Yes, it looks like it. So we put this in. This is the assembly hall for you know important conversations. Uh, this is from the uh, another furniture add-on. Just pointing that out because you guys can try it out for yourselves. 
and the artifact vault, which is just a bunch of chests. And the mess hall, already, already mentioned. That leaves the phaser armory in this deck, and then the uh, assignment room. Yes, that's what that is. Yes, we're not going to go walking into every single door. Like, I don't think any of us have time for that tonight. On the recreational deck. We've got a fencing room, we got two onboard theaters, two onboard video game rooms, two onboard holographic board game rooms, and two card table rooms. Along with office the uh, so, blah, blah, blah. along with the saucer sections air airlocks, the holodecks. The primary phaser control room down on the back of the saucer. And then a rather unique reference to next generation. Something that I call five forward. And yes, it is a kind of a ripoff of ten forward from next generation, so it's inspired by. The reason I didn't call it 10 forward here is because uh, this is deck 5, and deck 10 is where the medical area is. Way, way too small for that. Also, ignore the impending doom zones. They're just there, for reasons unknown to me. Then we have a ballroom. We got our banquet hall over here. You know, for special occasions and the like. And then all the way down here, on the other side, we have the onboard library and the onboard running track. Deck four. Oops. There we go. This is science stations. Including the church counselor's office and quarters, science labs, the onboard nursery, the onboard uh, crops room, and then the escape pod rooms. But also with this rendition, I have this. Stellar, stellar cart cartography. It's basically a giant map, pretty much. And now deck three, which I had a lot of fun doing. This is VIP guest quarters. I am going to show one room off because, I mean, they're all laid out the same. It's just it's no big deal. You got a little desk so they can work on. They got a little chest for personal belongings. They got their bed. You can see the top section of the registry from here. But the fun part, they got their own hot tub. Yeah. Because I am a gracious host as a starship captain. And then deck two is the quarters for the senior officers. They do not have hot tubs. We got Chief Second Officer. We have Second Officer, which is the, basically the helmsman. First Officer, Captain's Waters, Chief Engineer, Chief Communications Officer, and then the Observation Deck in the back, which is where you can see the cells and do one of other stuff you. Okay, if you're in there for any reason other than to just look at the out the back window, then 
you kind of need a key to get alive. There we go. And then... This is... I forgot to put a sign up in here, okay. This is deck one. With this is the main bridge. The conference room. Oops. That wasn't supposed to happen. I had this little extra thing put in place because I'm a little nuts. But yeah, that'll be this is the conference room. And then we have an Admiral's ready room for there's an Admiral on board. They get their own little ops thing and hang out in. And do and do Admiral things. Just just whatever they want to do. Pretty, pretty much. And then the captain's ready room over here, which is later the exact same. I am proud of the work I put into this ship. But, uh, yeah. That's it. I'll see you guys another time. Bye.